Now it's time to start my Windows 7. I want to boot into my CD-ROM and you just saw that I want to press any key so that I can boot into my CD-ROM that I have created the boot image in that. And now the Windows is going to start. It will take a little time before the command prompt is ready for us. But after that I can use the ImageX tool. I'm not sure if ImageX is in my um, system right now. If it is not, I will copy it into this. I want to have a network share and I want to copy everything into that network share after my job is done. So let's do this. I want to share this WinP image that I have here. Under that you can see that this is the folder. Now let's go to Windows P image here. And R and right click on that and make sure that this is a share. Go to sharing, go to advanced sharing, share this folder, Windows P image, and click on OK. And, and make sure that you are allowing change. A full control is much better so that I can click on OK and I can write the image that they're capturing into this folder. I'm going to use this folder later. So it will take some time before the uh, command prompt is ready. We should wait for that. Now everything is copied into X drive. The X drive is in a memory. It is not on hard disk. First of all, make sure that we have our hard disk recognized. Disk part is the command that I'm going to use. You can see that disk part is starting. And I want to list everything. So list and on their list you can see that I have list volume so I type in list volume and you can see that I have a system reserved drive that uh, is small about 100 megabytes this is the drive that when you format uh, when you create your partitions onto your hard drive this will be created and you cannot use it this is system reserved and we have drive D this is the actual place of Windows installation on my uh, you know hard disk right now so this is my volume number two so D drive is the drive that I'm going to capture the image from that into another folder and I can do this uh, into D drive again so let's do this I want to exit my disk part and here make sure that image X is there ImageX command. If I hit enter, you can see that it tells me ImageX is not recognized. ImageX.exe. No, this is not here. I need to copy it from somewhere else to X drive. So to copy this, I need to have my um, interface uh, initialized. So I type if you config slash all to see that I have. A local area connection here this means my network interface card is initialized but you can see that I have 169.254 as my IP address this means that I didn't have assigned uh, I didn't have access to any DHCP server and I haven't assigned a uh, static IP address to this so I'm going to assign an static address here NetShell interface is the tool that I'm going to use and I'm going to assign an IPv4 address so I add an address the address is for local area connection and make sure that this is the correct name of your Ethernet adapters uh, this is the local area connection you can see that the name is correctly assigned here and next I want to have 172, 16, 10, 1, 12, 255, 255, 255, 0 as the IP address. So I hit enter. Now if I try to ping 172, 16, 10, 101, you can see that the ping is successful. So it means that I have connectivity to uh, the host computer or other computers in my network. Now I need to uh, copy ImageX. So let's go to the folder and M program files and Windows AIK under tools 
under x86 I have image x here so let me copy all of these tools I copy x86 into our Windows P image paste it here and rename it to tools for example I'm going to copy this into my Windows P image right now first of all I need to create a network drive so using a net use command I create drive Z for example and drive Z refers to double slash 172 16 10 101 slash and the share name is Windows PE image and I just shared it for you and I hit enter and you can see that it asks me about the username my username on that computer is administrator and it asks me about the password I type the password of that computer that means I need to have an account on that computer so that I can connect to that it tells me that the user context is not valid so I type in this again and the actual username is server1 backslash administrator and if it was a domain I will type it for example emoney.com backslash administrator or emoney backslash administrator as the name and the password again I should type the password here and the command completed successfully now I have Z command so I type copy or oh, let's go to Z oh no copy Z backslash uh, tools backslash every file into for example a folder here or into system 32 it doesn't matter if you do this right here so I hit enter and it tells me uh, do you want to overwrite BCD boot I want to have all files overwritten again doesn't matter for me and the tools are copied here now I have imagex available imagex and this is imagex exe so you can again go and refer to the imagex on this documentation you can see that I have let me find the actual context of this command here there is an article that tells me about capturing image if I double click on that it tells me I can capture images hard disk partition for example and this is yes that's it everything about capturing the images here now you can see the commands necessary for that and after that you can go and capture the image using this tool and there are examples here for example imagex slash capture let me use the command right now slash capture Now I'm capturing drive D because Windows is in this drive and I am uh, writing this into a file on drive D again so I can copy it later I type D colon backslash the result file is gonna be win 7 image dot win because the file is gonna be a WIM file, a Windows image file. Now there is a description for this file. Description is going to be Windows 7 Ultimate. For example, for sales group. Because I customized it for sales group. I hit enter and after a while you can see that the scan of the file will begin. It will take a long time before finishing. You can see some of the attributes will be ignored and after that the file is going to be written. And next thing you should do is copy this file into the uh, you know um, 
the, the Z drive that you just uh, shared it here and use that file. I want to do this and after finishing the copy I will come back to you and talk about the rest of my procedure.